Hello everyone, in a previous video I covered the pet system from Hikaru Nakamura against one's e4 and I put the link uh, up on the screen. But now, do you ever wonder how does he do against one's d4 if he wants to win quickly against a weaker opponent? I got you covered this time as well. So now he plays many things, but probably his favorite system to play g6 and after knight f3, bishop g7. And he's ready with the bishop, he's got a fianchetto and he's ready to put some pressure on the center like that. Now, one of the key systems for white is to play g3 as well. Now we get into a system where he always plays g6 and after bishop g2, bishop g7. So white castles and all of a sudden he play queen c8 and he wants to exchange the bishop over here, play h5, h4 and attack the king over here. Now that system is very similar to what white would do in a Sicilian dragon. So in Sicilian dragon like that, let's say that, you know, black play this move, then you could just continue with h4 and bishop h6 exchange and h5 and you attack right sometimes you play bishop c4 that's a typical um, idea for white to exchange the bishop fianchetto so he's doing the same thing except that he's playing with the black pieces very aggressive so typically c4 is played 96 and now you know if you were to play rookie one he still play uh, bishop h3 and on that move it will still play h5 and attack but in the game I'm going to show you why d9 c3, normal, right? So bishop h3 played, g5, they exchange the knight. And now white has to accept to exchange the bishop on g2. And the plan is h5, h4, and that's coming pretty quickly. Let me show you. e3 played, that's not the best move. If you were white here, you would want to do queen a4 check. Probably Hikaru would do king f8 to continue in an attacking mode. But e3 played in this game, h5, queen f3, h4. So now Hikaru just wants to open the h5, right? So bishop is taken. Now keep in mind that if you develop the pieces, then bishop g4 and the queen doesn't have a lot of squares, right? And you're gonna be in trouble. And if you take here then I'm gonna take and I bring the rook and this is almost game over so bishop take queen take and now of course black does not trade the queens f4 exchanging so now the h file is open the game continued rook h3 direct thread right so black doesn't even bother with castling knight f6 that knight's gonna come to e4 and the white square are very weak because the bishop on g2 has been exchanged. Knight e4 and here f5. You can see total control of the white squares and that was simply because in the opening here we removed the bishops. In this position the bishop has been exchanged. So here complete lockdown. The game continues. Finally castle. And here black is winning and white resigned. So you have a threat of uh, rook h1, the only move is queen g2, and then what do you do here? Simply queen h5, and you have one, two, and three pieces on the h5, and rook h1 is the threat. Now the knight is controlling f2, the king is stuck. It's absolute game over, 23 moves. So again, a textbook attack all started in the beginning where Hikaru went, well, bishop h3. Let me show you another game with the same theme. So here we go again. Once again, trying to exchange the bishops, weakening the white squares and launching the attack with the h5. We're on move 7 and Hikaru is already attacking. H4, so it is clear that if white would take at some point, black would just sack the exchange, exchange the bishops and continue the attack. 
So knight e g5 played. And here f6 played. Now, if the knight retreats, then it's game over. Check, checkmate on move 14. So here, queen d3 played, attacking g6. So if you take the knight, you're gonna be in trouble. So Hikaru defends over here. Now, the knight cannot move because you have the same queen h3 attack. So here, white gave up a piece and tried to attack the king. However, after this position, you can see here, white is a piece down because black has an extra knight and you only have two extra pawns for white. So in other words, in this position here, white doesn't have enough compensation. It was very important here to again play for the attack and that knight is lost simply because of a deadly threat on the h file. So that game lasted 25 moves. Let me show you a third example against one's d4. So now what happened if instead of playing g3 simply black is facing c4, d4, e4. So no g3, bishop g2. White controls the center. So what is the plan for black that Hikaru is using? Well, he's gonna have a combination of d6, knight c6, and e5. So typically, he can start with knight c6. That's pretty prerogative, but if you come here, then I'm gonna come on d4. And if you try to challenge me, I'm gonna play c5. But in this game, why did bishop e3, d6, knight c3? Why knight c3? Because if you try d5, I'm gonna eat on b2, and here e5. So bishop g7, controlling e5, attacking d4, putting a lot of pressure on the center. Knight g e2 played to cover the d4. And here, f5. So, black did not develop on knight f6 and doing f5 first. Very direct, very aggressive. So here, white had to play d5 and Hikaru in other games moved the knight over here, then moved the other knight and has a good game. But here, queen d2 played in this game. Now knight f6, d5, but that's too late. Knight b4, the knight jumps are actually insane. Long castle, check, discovery check, and Hikaru on 12 is up a rook. So h3 played, simply castle, and on that move, knight e4. And if you take on e4, I take, and that knight is saved. And if you do queen e1, simply knight here. And you have a winning position for black, no matter what white tries here. Um, so winning in 15 moves. So again, we can see a lot of different ideas with the bishop on g7. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe if you would like to see more content.